Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be checking out the X table. Uh, the X table is fairly critical because we need to make sure that it is the same thickness all the way across. If it's thinner on this side, thicker on that side, then you're going to have uh, parts that turn out uneven. Uh, we want to make sure it's fairly straight. Otherwise, it's going to give you inconsistent parts. So, I've got my table sat on the ways on top of one, two, three blocks. Uh, these are about eight inches in. And so I'm just going around and checking different points with an indicator just to see uh, how close it is. And we're going to annotate those for future reference. But you can see uh, right here where we're at. Right here where we're at. The center. Over here. And it moved over here. So you can see that this side is pretty straight all the way down. Really happy with that. Now we'll move to the other side and we'll just do similar checks. Alright, it's about uh, two tenths maybe. A little bit off of zero there, maybe a half a tenth. In the center there. I'm hanging off the. There we go. Let's try that. There we go. Here we are here, about a tenth. And somewhere around here. Uh, about a tenth. So really impressed with that uh, I have to say that I'm pretty satisfied with that I don't know that I would do anything to this other than just mount the rails but I'm gonna write down all these measurements that I got on the top I'm gonna go and check the bottom surface same way and we'll just see where, where we're at we'll compare the two I measured this before it was 33.07 millimeters I believe I'll have to double check that all right so let me uh, jot this information down we'll check underneath and see where we're at okay so I've got I went ahead and wrote down all my measurements uh, checking it on the top and now I have repositioned the indicator and I am checking it on the bottom edge here where we're going to be mounting the rails. So let's look and see what we've got. All right. So in the center here, we're about five tenths, not quite five tenths. Over here, looks like uh, about the same. Five tenths. Yeah, it's holding about right there. And then let's check this side. About two tenths. All right, so let's check the front side here. Right here in the center, it looks to be about two tenths, maybe two and a half tenths. Looks to be about 
eight tenths here. And then over here, looks to be about uh, four or five tenths here. Okay, so now I have flipped the table over and I am sitting on the top here on top of my one, two, three blocks. And I just wanted to check this surface here in this configuration. I've already checked it and jotted down all my measurements upright. I checked the top edge and also checked this way uh, from underneath. And now I flipped it over and I'm just checking this just to annotate those so that I'll have that as a reference in the future. Also, I have these videos so I can go back and look, which is uh, real helpful. So let's see what we've got. So it looks like about seven tenths there. So that's about seven tenths low. Toward the center here, we're about two tenths, and then I don't know if I've got this in the camera or not. About five and a half tenths here on this side. Let's come over to the. This is actually the front edge here. Let's see what we're at. Get off the edge there a little bit. Uh, oh, get in focus, Sam. All right, looks like about uh, two and a half tenths there. Uh, three tenths there, maybe. Over here, about seven. Around seven tenths, about six, seven tenths. So I'll annotate that. Nothing, nothing is under, is over a thousandth of an inch anywhere that I've, any of the measurements that I've taken, uh, which is great. So now that I've checked the X table, I've checked the Y. I think I'll take this column, see if I can sit it, maybe rest it on the ways on top of some one, two, three blocks and just kind of check it and see uh, where we stand with the column. Take some notes on that. So far, so good. I'm really seeing, uh, really liking what I see. So yeah, let's uh, get this table out of the way and then we'll put the column up here and we'll check the z-axis column okay guys I've got my column sitting up on my one two three blocks it's resting on the way and I've just went around and checked it and annotated uh, the different measurements I was getting again I'm pretty satisfied with the results I was getting there's no rock in the column whatsoever so uh, really pretty happy with that. So let's take a quick look and see what kind of readings I'm getting. Uh, hopefully you can see this. Uh, looks like just about zero there. In the middle we're zero. Focus. Okay. And on this side, we are about maybe a tenth. Yeah, about maybe a tenth. So let's go around to the back, or the left side, I should say. Resituate here. Okay. 
check it here. Looks like about a tenth, thereabouts. Make sure I'm under there. Looks like about a tenth there. Let's check this side here. like about five tenths over here yeah we're gonna say five tenths there all right so all in all so all in all I'm pretty happy with the results I got from all my checks I'm really happy that I went ahead and got the granite surface plate so that just for the peace of mind of knowing what all these uh, readings are now going forward I have a good idea of what I can expect overall it looks like everything was within a thousandth of an inch so I'm really happy with uh, what I'm seeing in the next video I guess I'll start working on go ahead and mounting the rails uh, I had planned on doing that about three or four weeks ago but I decided to go ahead and get the surface plate so I can take these measurements and at least get a baseline uh, not only for my peace of mind but also so that you guys can have something to compare your machines to. Alright, well I'm pretty satisfied with uh, the way the column turned out. I'm also satisfied with the table and the base. Everything was within a thousandth of an inch so I couldn't be happier. There are some flexibility issues that I need to address on the base. So I'll probably do some kind of granite epoxy and fill that in. I'll also fill in the base probably uh, to help give that some more rigidity. Um, in the next video, I'll probably start mounting the rails and we'll see how that affects the castings, if any. Uh, hopefully it'll just stiffen it up and make everything a little bit more rigid guys if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to comment please subscribe to the youtube channel thumbs up if you like the video thanks for watching and most importantly be safe